a disappointing result, but some positives out of the game at Lee. Well, there's always positives, isn't there? And, and at the end of the day, people will say, well, we picked up a bonus point and you got a little bit closer uh, to Lee than we have done in the, the previous games. But I was disappointed and I expressed my disappointment after the game with the guys because we should have, could have, would have. And if we have gone and, and played the way that we trained the week, then I'm sure we could have come away with a better uh, performance and a better result. And it took us really till the, into the second half to start playing the way that we wanted to play, which were playing behind a good kicking game. You know, we, we gifted them too many tries. You know, we give them an interception. The first try was an interception that we passed the ball that ain't what we're trained to do but I guess you know people do different things in, in making decisions and, and you know that's why they're, they're individual rugby league players but uh, you know a little bit disappointing but you know we got closer and, and what we do now and what I said to the guys last night training is that we know that we can beat them we've just got to play a lot better and there's completions in the second half we're still only 40 odd percent in the first half it was only 60 you know and we only had 16 play the balls in their half in the second half so how do you pull pressure how do you sustain the pressure and how do you make them fatigued we didn't and that's why we didn't come up with the, the three points as you know what we went to do and yes I am hard and I, I want to be hard on them because I believe the group of people can deliver results and, and beat teams like that as again we did in the in the playoffs last season so we need to be a little bit better we've still got lots of positives out of it you know uh, got closer and 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 played some, you know, some great stuff. But attitude-wise, defensively, we had, we had a good attitude again, and, and that's what we've built uh, most of the season round. And it's the final push, isn't it? And I'm looking for perfection. The guys are a little bit disappointed, and that ball's well going into the game on Thursday night against Featherstone. I'm just going to mention that another difficult uh, game, first time we've seen Featherstone this year. Yeah, and, and obviously that's why they're at the top. They're a quality team, and 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 just brought in another quality player in Ben Kane, who's just come out of Super League. So you know they're a quality team, coached by a close friend of mine, Daryl Powell. So it'd be great to catch him, and you know we usually go there and get a result, and and that's what we need to do on Thursday. You know, as last out in on Sky Sports, we we, we clawed back uh, and, and beat Barrow. So you know we need to go with the right attitude. We need to. You know, be confident as as we we can pull some of the things out of the the game against Lee and go there with the game plan. Stick to the game plan. High completions. Play the ball in the right area of the field, and I'm sure we can get the result again against you know Featherstone, who are sat probably second in the league at the moment. And just to bring a little downer on it, uh, the academies are in difficult times at present. Yeah, which we know. And again, again, at the end of the day, is, you know, we who said we were ready for the the, the Super League Academy this year, we wasn't, and I, I know that. Uh, but if if it were a decision between pl playing and not having a scholarship, it wasn't a decision, was it? You know, so we had to run with it. Uh, you know, we were a little bit disappointed because in each game they've been competitive for for large parts and and then dropped away. Is that fatigue? Is that what happens when you get you know put under pressure? I guess it is. And you know we've got to dust them down. We've got to keep going while the end of the season. Review it. Have a look at uh, how we can take it forward. The exciting things is that you know the scholarship under 16s. Uh, are going up to the academy next year. They got the first result this year and, and also drill with Huddersfield as well. So they've had a particularly good uh, season this year as the 16 scholarship and they're going to go to the 18s. We'll be a little bit more competitive. You know, the things that we're looking at as a club is we've got to be a little bit better on our, our scouting network and over the next few weeks we'll be launching a, a, you know, a, um, a policy for scouting and we'll have a head scouting if you like somebody very close to me that will come and look at potential kids I was down at the Midlands last week and watched some cracking and you know young lads playing uh, rugby league that we will be inviting onto our scholarship so there's a lot of exciting things going on yes 10 years ago we were in the same position wasn't we as a, as a first team that first sort of year it's tough and you haven't got the, the players that you want in there yet but you know out of that Hopefully the, the kids will get a little bit tougher, a little bit harder, understand what professional rugby league is going to be about and, and hopefully they'll progress. And there's been a surprise this week with uh, Wales Crusaders leaving the Super League. Massive shock, isn't it? You know, everybody were tipping Wakefield uh, to go out, but you know why would you kick Wakefield out when they're getting probably five, six, seven thousand average gates and, and that's one of the, the tick boxes as they like to say. So uh, 
you know, Celtic have been in administration. They're not getting the crowds. Uh, financially, they've, they've struggled this the last couple of years. So, it, was it right to put them out? And it's a big shock because at the end of the day, rugby league want to promote the game and spread the game, don't they? And, and, and one of the things was in Wales. So, will it be the end of Wales? Hopefully not. Will it, you know, will they drop down into our competition and, and, and try and build from the bottom and, and do it? as we believe it should be done correctly. Uh, who knows, but uh, massive shock. Uh, what it does do is keep the, the you know the West Yorkshire Derbys going, Wakefield against Cass and things like that, where there'll be a big crowd and, you know, they've worked hard and I know they've been in administration and, you know, a close friend of mine, Paul Broman, a lot of time um, there and, and, and police for, particularly police for him.